What do you consider as your greatest sexual achievement? I ate out my wife once and apparently I was doing too good. She punched me in the forehead out of nowhere and I asked what the hell. She said she was about to black out. I still bring that one up with her. I believe it lol. My fianc once made me come so hard I actually did black out and woke up like 10 minutes later confused. And you didn't marry him faster? Why is he still your fianc? Because of COVID ha ha, believe me we tried. He was two weeks out from flying to my country for our wedding when the US closed its borders to non-citizens. It has now been nine months since we last ducked and I am extremely salty about it. I'm holding our government responsible for my lack of orgasms. Coming so hard that we all wake up confused and forget 2020 in its entirety is exactly what the world needs right now. Please start a GoFundMe page so that we can send him on a trip to the Earth's click to get started. I'm pretty sure it's in the northern tip of Singapore. We'll find the clit someday. Never give up. I can yo-yo with my penis. A spring popped out of the bed and cut my leg open. Still finished. Doesn't matter had sex. But I cried the whole time. Doesn't matter, had sex. I think she might have been a racist. Doesn't matter, had sex. She put a bag on my head. Still counts. I just had sk. And it felt so good. Knocked up my wife on our first try at having kids. First ultrasound showed twins. I joke that we have a 200% success rate. Dude badass. My best friend ended up having testicular cancer when he was 19, so they took one nut. Scared the shit out of me, thinking that could happen so young to guys like us. Skip forward another decade, and his wife and him were trying to have a kid. I was stoked they were gonna try, but I was low-key had my doubts. Nope, Ducker proved me wrong, a month into trying, twins. Crazy stuff. I suppose testicles are like kidneys. We only really need one, it's just nice to have a backup. I was able to climax once based on the power of thought alone. Edit, wow this blew up. There are a lot of Redditors who have done this once or twice or would like to try achieving this goal. If you are interested we have set up a subreddit to share tips and tricks on training your body and mind. Earthy empty hand. I'm just imagining a human person levitating, eyes all white like the avatar and then just a fountain of cum, or was it a bit different? It's like lying in bed all tense and sweaty, face twisted as I imagine some extremely detailed shit and then boom, I'm squirming. I can have many ones, a pleasant throbbing sensation, but not intense by squeezing my legs together occasionally lol. Was getting a blowjob while Jeopardy was on TV and got all the answers right. Were they all answered with yes? And did you answer in the form of a question? Yes? Bidding my boyfriend off while he was on Prozac. I miss having sex but at least I don't want to die all my experiences on antidepressants. Take care of yourself mate, hope you can get off them one day. Breaking the bed while having sex. Granted the bed was 20 plus years old and needed replacement but it still counts. I, we, broke one of those cheap college futons once. Still funny as it was not mine. Edit, 1. Conditioning my boyfriend to get a boner when Benny and the Jets plays. He was complaining one day he hated the song, so I decided to blow him whenever it played to give him better memories to associate with it. Benny and the Jets now makes him a combo of horny and mad Ada, holy shit this is my most upvoted comment. Thanks for the rewards. Boyfriend is also a Redditor, and now he's mad, not seriously, jokingly, I have more karma than him. Randomly starts playing at the in-laws house during Thanksgiving. Chill out Satan. The boyfriend will be the one playing it. About eight and a half months ago my wife and I decided we were going to start trying to have a baby. My wife even joked around that if I could get her pregnant by February she would buy me a brand new Boston Bruins jersey, she always had this insecurity that she might not be able to get pregnant or it might be tough. I decided to make things a little spicy and banged her right on the kitchen table and she said it was hands down her favorite time. Anyway, I should get to meet my daughter in about two weeks. I will be wearing my jersey. 
Edit, I forgot to add, we ordered a baby Bruins onesie for my daughter at the same time we ordered the jersey. A few months later my mom sent us a text with a picture of another little baby Bruins onesie she bought as well. My wife and I almost died laughing. Going down on a lady I was dating and afterwards her stating this is something all women should experience. Had a surprise three-way with my GF at the time and her best friend. Literally had to go to the bathroom to give myself a mirror pep talk. Always curious when I hear about random three ways with two girls that are friends, did they just take turns with you or did they mess around with each other? Not my story, but a co-worker's. He had a FWB living next door. Out of the blue she started screaming for her friend to get upstairs and join M. He had no clue. The girls didn't mess around, but now they're also no longer friends. Yeah threesomes are a pretty easy way to destroy relationships. At the beginning of the year someone asked the sub about threesome experiences and the overwhelming majority of replies was that it ducked the relationship in some way or another. Sometimes fantasies should remain just that. I gave a classmate one of those Cesare orgasms once. It was an interesting experience but then she gave me HPV. My boyfriend made me squirt once and has been trying so hard to do it again since I would say that is his greatest achievement so far, he enjoyed it more than I did lol. Same lol, issue is I squirt without orgasming and visa versa. It just feels like I get very wet very quickly. But it happened when we couldn't have sex and were just doing foreplay for like an hour. But I give it's odd but I much much prefer internal stimulation than external as as soon as I'm ready I get impatient and want it in me. I know he wants to see me do it again cause I see him watching during hand stuff. I just picture him staring intently at your vagina while furiously rubbing it and it's hilarious. Bless his heart. 40 years. Same partner. Neither tapped out even once. Still awesome. 40 years for one sex session is long. One of you better say stop. Both of them forgot the safe word. Having sex with a woman why we out of my league sexually and book smart wise. Then marrying her and knocking her up. New holy living heck y'all. This thing exploded. Thank you so much for the awards and over 80 comments is gonna be tough to get through but I will try to find a way to respond all of them. Receiving a blowjob in a ski gondola with magnificent alpine panorama in front of me. And many friends in the gondola behind having no clue. And my GF going all in because she knew she only had 8 minutes to finish me off. What did you do with the other 7 minutes? Admired the magnificent alpine panorama, didn't you read the post? Fingered a girl in a treehouse, then came down and got a blowjob from her best friend in a bush. Should have gotten it from both. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. This is an insanely perfect comment. Like I didn't laugh out loud but it is like a technically flawless joke. Touching a boob for the first time. It's all been downhill from there. Damn I did that when I was 5 minutes old. My best friend at the time had sex with my ex, soon after we broke up and were still kind of working on things, who I had been dating for years. Met up with his ex a while after, who I always thought was absolutely gorgeous, and had the same success. We call this win trading in the esports world. Had a note put under our hotel room door thanking us for the nightly audio entertainment. Achievement get, audiophile. Made my ex BF comb from poking his belly button really hard. He said it had never happened before and I've never tried it to anyone since but I always laugh when I think about it and still don't fully understand how it happened. Did he giggle like the Pillsbury Doughboy? Edit, wow, I didn't expect so many people to see and like my comment. Pretty sure it's now my most upvoted. Thank you for the awards and the gold. Another first.